Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn at Cloud Analytics. Are you someone who is preparing for a Power BI interview? Or if you are a beginner and trying to understand how you can apply these different DAX expressions within a real-time project, then this video is going to be helpful for you. Hi, I'm Sailaja and if you are new to my channel and if you are watching this video for the first time, then please do not forget to hit on the subscribe and the bell icon. So let's get into the video now. So in this particular video, I will be explaining to you about a real-time Power BI uh, scenario-based interview question, which has been recently been asked for one of my uh, colleagues. So I hope this video would be uh, helpful for you. So here in this example, uh, the interviewer wanted to understand how we can calculate the frequency of a specific word in a given column. Okay, so I have this data set. So I've just captured a sample data set. So I prepared this within an Excel uh, spreadsheet. And I have different columns here. As you can see, the first column is the name of the customer. And then we also have the nickname to that particular name. And then we have the products and the quantity sold for that particular product and by that particular customer. Okay, so now the questions that we need to uh, answer during this uh, video is the first one is to understand how we can calculate or how do we get the frequency of a specific name like Andy in the nickname column. So as you see here, this uh, nickname column has got multiple nicknames being assigned to every name, right? So we usually have different nicknames being called up uh, based on how they are uh, related, right? So now, uh, we need to focus on how do we uh, calculate or how do we count the number of Andy uh, nicknames within this particular column. So as you see here, the frequency is like three times, right? So uh, we have in the second row, the third row, and also in the fourth row being repeated. So now, how do we calculate this within Power BI using different DAX expressions? So that would be the first question. And the second part of this question is, once we calculate the frequency of that particular name, then we need to calculate the percent of total in order to see how this frequency has been with respect to the overall total number of rows. Okay, so here I have already created two separate DAX expressions, but we will do this again uh, hands on during this particular explanation. So I've already connected to my sample data set, like uh, as you see in the screenshot, right? The same data I have created within an Excel spreadsheet and I've already connected to the data. So I'm not showing you how I connect to it. And uh, once I have the data being available, the next thing is need to calculate this first question. So in order to calculate the frequency of Andy, I would first go to that particular raw table, which is my sheet one. And I'll just create a new measure here. So I'll say new measure and uh, maybe I'll say count of Andy. Since I've already used a measure by name frequency, I'm renaming this to another name called count of Andy. So now I will use the DAX expression called uh, calculate because we need to calculate this expression within a specific column, right? So I'm using this DAX expression calculate and what are we trying to do here? We need to count the number of uh, times Andy has been uh, like it's visible within that particular column, right? So I would use this uh, function called count. And where do I need to uh, get the count out of it? I need to see that frequency within this nickname column. So I will just call my table and that particular column. So with the sheet one and the nickname uh, column, and then so that is my first expression, okay? So then we need to give the other uh, parameter for that uh, calculate function. So the next parameter is within this particular column nickname, I uh, we need to calculate or we need to find the number of times this name has been repeated. So for that, I would use another function called search. So search is something which is a string based uh, uh, function or a DAX expression, which would allow us to find or extract the substring of that particular expression. Okay, so in this scenario, within the nickname column, we need to uh, extract uh, that particular name, which is Andy, 
and then we have to get the count out of it so i'll just specify uh, which is my uh, search string so which is my andy so we need to calculate the frequency of this name right so i'm just specifying that name and then from where do we need to get this count or where do we need to extract this from the uh, table which is from the sheet one and within sheet one table the column is nickname so i'll just select sheet one and nickname and from where do we need to uh, start finding the surname it's from the starting position so i'll just give it as one and in case if this value is not found like in case this uh, substring or the search value is not identified then it has to return a value called zero so that's where i gave it as zero now i'll just close this expression so that's for my uh, count of andy now what i would do is i'll just select on this count of andy and try to convert this into a cape, uh, card okay so now if you see i have got the count of andy within this particular column right so since i have andy one two three it's just returning the same okay so in this way you can actually do this on your real-time data so it's just a logic how you can transform it within your respective use case right so it's just giving you like a, a support mechanism like a, just to get started on how you can uh, reuse these different DAX expressions within your real-time use cases now uh, since that we've created this, uh, so we've got this first question being answered. Now the second part is that we need to calculate the percent of total. So what is the uh, logic behind the percent of total? So percent of total is nothing but, um, so we need to calculate like um, uh, that particular value by the current value. So probably like, a, for example, if it is the current value is three, divided by total number of records within that particular column right so total number of records are like total number of rows so here we've got six different rows right so this would be our uh, a logic to compute the percent of total so now let's see how we can do this within a dax expression so i'll again come back to the particular table and uh, create a new measure on top of that and here i will uh, specify this as percent of total or probably percent of Andy. And uh, in order to compute this, uh, we know that the expression has like uh, A divided by B, right? So we need to use the SADAX function like divide. And what is our numerator? So numerator is the current value. So our current value is the count of Andy. So I would need to choose that particular column here or that particular uh, uh, value. So I'm just uh, using the existing measure that we've created earlier, comma, and the denominator is the total number of rows within that particular table, right? So in order to get the total number of rows in the table, we have another function called count rows, okay? So by using this count rows uh, function, it would help us to get the total number of rows within that particular table, okay? And then I'll just close this expression and I have my percent of Andy. So before I even use that in my uh, card uh, representation, I'll just uh, change my formatting by specifying uh, from this measure tools pane on the home ribbon and select that as percentage. And maybe you can also adjust the decimal places to zero or one or two, however you wish to have it. Now I will select this percent of Andy and change this to a card okay so now we've got this as a 50 percent so why 50 percent because uh, the frequency of andy being displayed is three times right one two and three and total number of rows is six so three by six is one by two which is 0.5 so when it is multiplied by 100 as a percentage it is 50 percent okay so in this way we have uh, been able to accomplish these two uh, separate questions that has been requested by the interviewer so I hope you understood this uh, topic and uh, uh, if you do like this video, please do like, share and subscribe and do not forget to hit on the bell icon. Thank you.